What's going on everybody? This is Puffa Spartan here and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Um, in between the two episodes I went and destroyed all of the uh, things that were ravaging the uh, cranes over here. Uh, went and did this ruin, uh, the relic ruins, which that was a freaking pain in the butt. That took me like 20 minutes by itself. Um, so I, did, I just didn't want to waste your guys' time with that. Still here, I see. Yeah, I'm still here. And, uh, let's see, uh, who appointed you? Scrape is on Karja land. Shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? Because you are an absolute piece of shit. Of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Back. The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have yeah. no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Yeah, exactly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And it's honest folk know I'm indispensable to- Can I just kill him now, please? I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Damn! Okay, Aloy. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items. Sweet! Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis. Alright, now we are off to trade with one of the merchants. Right? Is it this one? Power. Yes. Okay. Oh, we can get her original outfit. Okay. Um, plus one silent strike heal. Plus one to low profile. Okay. Um. Plus one to critical strike and plus one power strike. Eh, not really that great. Uh, I'm honestly I'm fine with what we have. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Strike pieces. We can sell these. Why do we sell these? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we can sell. Oh, that's a key upgrade. No, we're not selling that. Uh, that's all stuff that's needed. Ammunition resources, food resources, healing, dye. I don't know what is useless in this. That's the issue. That is the biggest issue. It's like I have no idea what is and what isn't useless. I didn't get those. There we go. Okay, tools. Um. Hmm. What it. Okay. I'll have to come back to that. Um, but we have to talk to you, right? Brought no. out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful by getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Damn. Okay. All right. Let's see. This does how much more damage? It doesn't even say. Oh, we don't have a charger circulation. Okay. That would be really nice, a sharpshooter bow. 
Okay. Oh, yes. No. Grab. Uh, we'll grab five of these. Actually, no. We'll just grab four. Okay. Okay. We're good there. Resources. Hmm. You got plenty of these. Or is that what he has and we don't have any? That's the question. Okay. I'm back anytime. Alright, I will. Thank you. Alright, where to now? Okay, all the way up to the very top. Okay. Yep. To the top now. Here we go. Before I talk to you, I'm gonna swiggity swoo all of this. And now I will speak with you. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. Well, you have me. I'm off to Baron Light Bodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. The fact that he's able to move that by himself is impressive nevertheless. It's like, well, dude, what do you expect? You have one guy freaking moving so much freaking weight. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised he's able to lift that. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Alright. New mission. The main embassy. Alright. What is this? Is this the main embassy quest? No. Override a charger. Okay. So that's that. Quests. Here we go. So that's what we got there. We got two. What's the bristlebacks quest? Search the west quarry for bristlebacks. Ah. The west quarry. They only go to the east quarry. And then we gotta go to the mine. Okay. Maybe even a guy back up. Okay, and where are those other two side quests? Uh, one is there and one is there. Okay, so let's go get these quests at least added. So, and we'll take care of them later. Oh, one's my one's from Petra. Okay, cool. Another round here? Heard you've been busy. Just a little. As for me, I'm gonna need a. Is there something on your mind? What's well, on your mind, Petra? Bad since you got this place running. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. <laughs> anyway, God damn. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. Fair. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. Okay. Therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleaver oh. has had his eye on the salvage ever Shit. since. Shit. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I've never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talent. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? I will see what I can do. So the bristlebacks. <sighs> can we not with this drunk? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. I'm still saying that, uh, that Unalad did, dude, uh, freaking released them. Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. I mean, I could. The daunt help Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. 
He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. <sighs> Figures. Him. Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Yeah. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I mean, he's drunk off his ass. Okay. Way. I'll talk to the rep. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it. This Tallinn guy might still be in chain scrape. All right, so we have that have that quest first. taken care of. That one doesn't seem like that much of a pain. So we'll go tag this quest, which should just be right out this door as soon as they get out here. Thankfully. And we have plenty of, uh, whatchamacallit, fast travel, uh, satchels now. I mean, yes, we get fast travel from thing to th Why isn't he moving? I I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Kind of. Right? Sort of. What do you Actually, got? Actually, I... Uh. But you're just nuts. I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? J wait, what? Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Okay. Like you've had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. I mean, fair. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Eh, not really. So, she's your partner? My apprentice? And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And dad's precious homebrew. Oh no. Next day. Huh. Fair. Tell me more about I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Okay. And a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic, undoubtedly, but coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Okay, Namely, that makes ex tests. that makes sense. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! <laughs> you get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. All right, sounds good. So, uh, a bigger boom. I'll most likely be doing those side quests off camera. Um, just because I want to get this main story for you guys. But we're definitely going to be, uh, heading straight in. I could get around faster if I find a charger to open. I mean, it's not like... Hold on. All right, we're heading into the territory. Good. Oh, there's plenty of chargers. Oh, hi there. I have to go on quiet, so I don't spook the herd. All right, there's a burrower. Okay, come here, bud. If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them. All right.
All right, we're on, and let's go. Oh, Sonic Blast, Sonic Blast. Oh, that's not fun. There we go. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. I, I said out. Thank you. Come on, hurry up. Cause we gotta go the right. We gotta get down this path as fast as we freaking can. All right, I think we're halfway there, right? What are you? What's all this up here? Unknown workbench? Ooh. Yes, please. Don't need a mountain cannot enter this location. Okay, then let me off the mount. I want to search this place just a little bit before I move on. Okay, is there anything around here that I can take advantage of? Like, I don't know, the freaking workbench? Where'd that workbench go? Come on, up, oh, thank you. It's like, why are you not letting me go up? I just need to go up, please, please. There's the workbench, and there's something else here, huh? All right, can I upgrade the bow anymore? I cannot, okay, that's all I needed to know. I can still upgrade uh, trap crafting. Uh, I will. There we go. And pouch upgrades. Yes. Okay. So pouch upgrades are basically one of the key necessities of this. You want to upgrade everything to its max as much as you can, and as fast as you can. A hunter. All right. Oh, what are you? Okay, I'm gonna read that real quick. Thank you. Is there anything else? Any anything else? There is a stash here, which is nice. Um, okay. Uh, restock resources? Rest uh, I oh, cool, it just automatically restocks. Sweet. That works. Alright, I think that was everything then. Whee! Oh my god, I flew. I flew a lot higher than I expected. Okay. Alright, let us move on! Ow. And it says something about holding triangle, triangle to repair. Oh, that's cool. We can actually repair the mounts now. That's really nice, actually. Okay, and we're off. To the embassy. The good thing is, chargers are, like, essentially just giant pup, like, puppies. Because they do not, like, attack you at all, unless provoked. You're in light. The last part of the sun done before the forbidden lust. Let, let me off. Thank you. The barren light. We are here. Alright. Oh, there's a quest here, too. Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Uh, actually, yes, yes, I am. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. Okay. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified, but I carry out most of my business in no man's land a neutral territory and all that Baron light is our port of entry when its doors are closed from the embassy I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon I've got a Possibly After what's all, it to you? I want that embassy to happen as much as you do Believe me, I'm working on it <laughs> Good to know and uh, Keep us in mind. Maybe. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. 
Okay. Buy any scrap you got on you. But if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> What do I get? Do I get anything free? I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. All right. Let's see where to now. Oh, well, Aaron is in there. Okay. Looks like he's had a few. Oh, there are people in jail. What? Talk to the prisoner. Savior. Thank you. Give my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse. They're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alliance. Hmm. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. Oh, well, fun. I'm sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse. I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word, Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Alright, I'll take a look into it. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Okay. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of him, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here. Meaning, someone left it open on purpose. Huh. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they hurt me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Okay. Well, and nobody believes you. We combed the woods, searched Laravik's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it. No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. No I mean, you could. It's not the best option, but you could. And hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The All right. You witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, I will definitely be taking a look with that after all of this. But I want to talk to Aaron real quick, see how he's feeling. Gentlemen. That's our cue. Taking the edge off? I don't the end of the world's coming. I don't mean so. Now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. 
<clears throat> I actually want to see how he's been. Because it's been... Oh, oh, like... It hasn't been a long time, but it's been months. Bangor's going strong. Help Devad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursher in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. Huh. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. That always sucks. When things Before just go now, sideways. I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. That's good. Just seen the crowd to show to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since uh, what, <laughs> since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Yeah. Damn straight. She would have put them all on the table. All right. What is it about Baronite? What do you know about here? It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West and the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Vod's paying the Osram to rebuild it. No matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. All right, let's take a look and I see. All right, you'll have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Not don't count. <laughs> don't count on it. All right. Let us head into the embassy now. Is it here? Oh, it is here. Oh, okay. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. But, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. Ah. Uh, All right. Okay. Fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Okay. So. So what? Happens what? Ex these yeah, I was gonna say what's what needs to get done Mostly exactly. trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh. Return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. True. Especially when a, a person's life's in you danger. Said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribes of elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Baib over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> Came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. Ah, it was indeed. <laughs> it was. Oh my gosh. All right. So right, where is Nozar? So I can uh, talk to him about this. Shots, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol. 
Especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. All right, let's do this. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raid. After years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. Sorry, how to get that? got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvid was thrilled. Oh yeah, totally. Considering I called him out in front of all of his followers. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. All right. So let us talk to him. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be kept. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many okay. clans do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow the complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Okay. I'll wait. For you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Alright, so this is where we're going to leave this episode off. I'm going to go and do most of the side quests in between episodes. Uh, and get all that done and taken care of. But when we get back, we're going to be going to the Forbidden West. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button down below. Comment and subscribe for more amazing content such as this. And until next time, this has been your Spotify Spartan, signing off. Stay frosty, everyone. Peace.